The following is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 3rd of April, 1975, in Mayapur, India. Sri Rupam Chakrajatam That is the meaning of God. Everything comes from Him, but He is self sufficient That is God. But they say that the chunk is was always there. Huh? They say the chunk was always there. No, chunk was not always there. Just like uh, the earth was not always there, it was covered by water. The chunk is nothing but an earth, a piece of earth. So there was no chunk, everything was covered with water. Where from the chunk came? And from the water came? Then where from the fire came? There are so many things. They, they think that we are limiting God by saying that He's a person mm-hmm. or that He has form. And that is their foolishness. That is their foolishness. They are thinking God, a person mm-hmm. like me, like himself. That is foolish. They cannot conceive that a person become, can become so powerful than myself. That is it. A person has achinta shakti, achinta shakti, inconceivable power. Now, just like you are person, you cut your hair, it is growing. Do you know how it is going? Yeah. Then? Even it is beyond your conception. What to speak of others? But it is growing. It is. Huh? If there is any uh, scar or the, uh, the nail is broken somewhere, it will come out. But you cannot manufacture it by conceiving, but it is coming out. That means within you, there is an inconceivable power. So if you have God, an ordinary human being, so much inconceivable power, how much God has got inconceivable power? There is God. In Los Angeles you called it mystic power, that yes. every living creature has some mystic power. Yes, every living creature. You gave the example of a lemon tree. Yes. The mystic power producing tons of citrus. Citric acid. Yes. Lemon juice, achinta shakti, inconceivable power. The cow eating grass, producing milk, this is inconceivable power. Can you produce milk from the grass? But why, how the cow is producing? Hmm? Answer this. <laughs> you eat grass and produce milk, <laughs> give your wife grass and let her produce milk. Your question is answered? Well, it's answered, but uh, they would say that our saying that, you say, I said, where did God come from? You say, that is the definition of God. Yeah. But then they can say... Everything comes from God, but He says that. Is it. That is the searching out God, that you search. You, you, where from you come? From your father. Then your father comes from his father, from his father, one. When you reach one person, he does not come from any father. He is self-sufficient, and then he is God. That is the definition. If God also comes like you from a father, then how is God? He is like you. That is the difference. They say that's not logically proved. That is logically matter. You have no brain to understand. That is the distinction between God and ours. We are caused, but He is cause of all causes. That is God. 
Otherwise, how will distinguish between you and God? You are caused, but he is not caused. He is causeless. If he becomes caused, then he becomes like you, and I becomes God. That is the distinction between God and us. Srimad Bhagavad in the beginning it is said, Sarat. Huh? Independent. Yes. Then Madhasajata, this absolute truth is that from which who is the origin of everything, but he is Sarat. This is the first line of Bhagavad. Janmadasajataha Annayatitaratasya Artesu Avigya Sarat. They don't like it because God doesn't come under their jurisdiction then. Huh? They want they want God to be under their jurisdiction. Huh, so that is their foolishness. You shall be under the jurisdiction of God. God is not under you. Then how is God? They can't understand hmm. how it is that matter hmm. uh, they they accept that matter always hmm. existed. They can't understand our point. Matter existed? Always. That in the that eternally there is a gas in the atmosphere. What from the gas can? <laughs> well, they say they believe that it always existed. Always existing. Yes, that's their idea. Hmm. Just like we say, God is swarat. They say that the matter is swarat. Yes, not swarat. We we never find a gas is swarat. Matter is swarat. Does this body? Has this body come out itself? Because the soul is there, the body has developed. That the cause of this body is the soul. The body is not independent. And the soul goes, away, then the body is never independent. It cannot move. It becomes just like dust. Dust thou art, dust thou weest. <laughs> His body is moving now, but it is not independent. It is dependent on the soul. The soul goes away, it does not move. So how it is independent? And everyone knows that because the soul takes shelter within the womb of the mother, the body develops. If the child comes out dead, it does not develop. The matter is dependent on the soul, living being. Their argument is that matter is always in motion, is always moving. Where is moving? Is it moving? Well, they say the atoms, the molecules, are always in motion. First of all, prove that this is moving. Well, the then all say all this nonsense. First of all, why it is not moving? This this piece of earth, why it is not moving? They say it's moving very slowly. You can't huh? see it moving. Huh? It's moving so slow you can't see it. Oh, then you become blind, then you can see. <laughs> just say the whole world is moving, the cosmic manifestation. Yes, that is another thing. But that, how that is moving we have to settle. But matter as itself does not move. Because they say that within the, within the earth... That is within you have got very good sight within. But I am a layman, I want to see that it is moving. <laughs> you have got some imaginary eyes, you can see. They say that's advancement. Huh? Advancement of science. Yes, to science. become blind is advancement, certainly. Is Who will say it is moving? Unless he is a fool. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Moving, that's all right. Everyone, uh, the, the whole world is moving. That is another thing. But as it is, why, where it is moving? They're talking about the atomic structure. Mm -hmm. uh, the atoms are moving. Uh, that where it is moving. Within the atoms, there is movement. And uh, today, this morning, I uh, see it is lying there. Tomorrow, you come, it is lying there. Where it is moving? What does it mean by moving? Well, they say that when Adam... They say, you say what it is. Huh. Don't say, they say. <laughs> you have, use your intelligence. If the foolish man says something, shall I have to accept it? You use your own intelligence. 
they say, if they are authority, then we have got authority. Right. If, if you do not accept my authority, why shall I accept your authority? Come to argue. They say, why they, we will accept, they say. Why? Are the authority? No. Then? What is the use of they say? You say. Why and he will say, they say, I will say, they say. My authority. My authority. <laughs> to defy my authority, why shall I accept your authority? Then come to plain logic. Well, you look at the, the earth and you see it, it is stationary. Huh? Just like we look at the building over there. Hmm. From a distance it is stationary. But if we go inside, we can see there is so much movement. Yeah. So similarly, you may walk by this earth every day and see it is stationary. Hmm. But if you analyze it underneath a uh, microscope, you will see that there is so much movement going on but, within. But that is due to air. Hmm. That is due to air. Just like we can see so many uh, atoms are moving in the uh, hole from the wall, but that is due to air. So this is also moving, the whole thing is moving by air, not, not, automatically. not automatically. Not automatically. You cannot say automatically. No. Air is moving. That's why the, in the air the cloud is moving. <coughs> the cloud is not moving. The air moving and the cloud moving. Anyway, the basic proposition is that they they don't have they don't want to accept God, so they can don't have to be accountable for their activities. Huh? So that they don't have to be accountable for their activities. Mm. Certainly. And they are being accountable. Huh? If they become so dull-headed, then the God's power will make him a tree stand here, stand up here for three thousand years. That's all. You are so dull-headed that he, you have no sense. So become a tree so that even if you are cut, you cannot protest. You have no sense, senses. That is the punishment. If you don't eat prasada, then eat stool. <laughs> this is the argument. So they are being punished, but they are so dull-headed they cannot understand. With their science, they've been able to build so many buildings and roads and bridges and so many things but which they consider what wonderful. What do with the buildings? He'll be kicked out. Your building will remain there. Your spoiling labor will remain there. But you will be kicked out. You cannot leave there. Who is, who is managing these affairs? So you have construct this building, all right, I kick you out. Get out. Then what is the purpose of building? Huh? If you know that I am constructing this high building and tomorrow somebody will kick me out, then what is the use? Have you made it ensured that he will not be kicked out? No. Then it is useless waste of time. You can enjoy it while you are here though. That's all. That is called foolishness. That I am going to be kicked out tomorrow <laughs> and let me enjoy tonight. That's all. That is foolishness. Because they don't believe in anything after this life. Yeah, they that, don't believe and don't take knowledge means foolishness. Yes. Just like you are walking, you don't believe that you are going to the temple. You are simply walking. Is that very intelligent? We are going, we are going to some place. We know that. That is intelligent. And if I ask you why you are walking, that I do not know. Is that very intelligent, man? Like animal. Animal? That's all. Animal also knows that, that I'll have to go there. Without any purpose. If they are walking, that's whole number one. Mura. Sometimes the argument is put forward that in places where there's not sufficient foods and shelter and things like this. Mm -hmm. These problems should be solved first before the problem of spiritual life. Yes, why don't you solve? There is so many land. Come here and grow food. Grow fruit. That is, that is the desire of Krishna. Annan bhavanti bhutani. Produce food. 
and eat sufficiently, be strong, and chant Hare Krishna. That is our pleasure. Why you are producing bolts and nuts, tire and tubes? Eat. Rascals, they do not know. The first of all, we must eat. No, everyone is engaged in industry. Why? Krishna does not say that. Take to industry. Krishna says, produce food star. Annad bhavanti bhutani. If you produce food star, then both your animal, yourself, will be happy, becoming strong. Hmm? Why do they manufacture uh, other things? All these people are engaged in manufacturing, and nobody is manuf- uh, um, growing food. Therefore, the price of food grain is rising. Huh? Suppose I am growing food, and you are not growing, so you have to purchase from me. I will ask, you have to pay this price, and you have to pay. And if you grow your own food, there is no cost. The simple economic problem, solution, this rascal cannot take. If you grow your own food, I grow my own, then who is going to purchase? The price will be reduced automatically. If you have no customer, then you have to reduce your price. But they do not understand even this simple thing. That God has given us enough land to produce food grain, and we must eat. They do not understand this. And they still, they are scientists, philosophers, politicians. You see? And that is the difficulty. All rascals, fools, they are leading the whole human society. They are too busy making money to grow their own food. I then pay more money. Come on. You earn money and give me, I shall give you food. And whatever I shall ask, you have to pay. This simple thing. More demand, price is more. Then why do you grab? Oh, everything is price growing, price growing. Why it will not? If I have got food and you have to purchase, and I have got so many customers, I must increase. That is economic theory. More demand, the price is increased. And then you say, there are so many problems we have to solve first. But you have created this problem, rascal. <laughs> and you said, must suffer. You have infected some disease, now you must suffer. Karanam guna ah, The reason is that you have infected some quality of the more some nature, and you must suffer for that. How you can deny it? Eh? If you have infected some disease, that is called a smallpox, and when you are suffering, how you can blame? You have infected, you must suffer. Nature's law is so strict that as soon as you infect a particular type of quality of nature, there are so many, you must suffer for that. Or so-called enjoy. There are two things, suffer and enjoy. So you must have to undergo the process. This is nature's process is so nice. As soon as you do something, there is reaction, and you are bound up. Jagyārtha karma natra lūkāyam karma bandhana. Bandhana means bound up. Immediately become bound up. And still you are thinking independent. Nature's law is so strict. But the argument is that the cities are there, and now what can we do? Hmm? The cities are already there, there are millions of people Therefore in the city. you are offering this place, come here. Why do you uh, not come here and live with us? That this is a Krishna consciousness movement, is, this is the movement, that you come here, live with us, and produce your food, produce your milk, be happy, healthy, and chant Hare Krishna. This is our moment. Therefore, we are creating new Vrindavan and farm, and we are trying to purchase. This is our movement. That we give you sufficient food, shelter, health, philosophy, religion, character, everything, purity. Come here. Why don't you come? 
They come here on the weekdays and they fly over. We are giving such nice law, but they will not live here. They will go to the Havel Raul of the city. They like to come here, therefore they spend so much money for gas and come here, but because they are not accustomed, they go back again. Return ticket from hell to heaven and again hell. Return ticket. Coming back to hell again. Not going back to God. And the Prabhupada, you said there was a man who read your easy journey and he was very enthusiastic that yeah. he could go to other planets. Uh, but he must come back. Yes. He said, Oh, I am not coming back again? And no. No, no, then I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that is the psychology. The <coughs> Russians, when the, some aeronaut was flying high in the sky, he was saying, Where is my Moscow? <laughs> yeah, it is public. That is Maya. Huh? The, the another incident happened than when the um, jet was in danger. He was thinking of how to come back home. This is Maya. You cannot go. Even though you like to go, still uh, it will attract you again. Back to hell. Otherwise, how people are living in what is called the place where is ice? Alaska. Huh? Alaska. Uh, or what is the name of those people? Eskimos. 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 Is that very good living? <laughs> you see? They won't come here. This is my. This is my. Aburinatmika Shakti. They, he is living in hell, but Maya is governing. No, it is not hell, it is heaven. This is Maya. <coughs> Similarly, all of us, we are living in this universe, material universe. We are thinking this is all good. What is the use of God? And going back to home, back to God. They do not take it very seriously, although we give all information. That you will have, you haven't got to work there. You will get everything. Your life is eternal and blissful, full of knowledge. They are not interested. Huh? Plucked. Plucked. Yes. Plucked. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. You go on speaking, but I plucked me. <laughs> chant, chant, chant. Yes, I can't, can't, can't. Yes. <laughs> the best intelligence is that we are hearing so much about the spiritual world, there is so much happiness. Why not try one life? Like cats and dogs have to have so many lives. Why not sacrifice one life? What is the loss there? But no, they're so many fallen, they will not accept. One man wrote a book about our movement, mm. Hare Krishna, and he said, one tragedy of this movement is that if a young boy or girl takes to this movement mm. and later decides to try the material world again, he will have ruined his chances for a career. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be too late for him. <laughs> mm. Therefore Krishna says, Manasyanam sahasyesu, prasthit jatukhisi. Out of many millions of people, one may become interested about what is the perfection of life. They do not want. And out of such millions of persons, jatatāma prasiddhāna, who are striving for perfection, out of many millions of them, one can understand me, Krishna. Maya is so strong. Everything there in the world. Krishna consciousness is not for ordinary person. Most fortunate, Bhagavanji. Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai, Bhakti Lata All these living entities and wandering throughout the universe. Eirupe Brahmanda Brahmite. 
If one gets the chance of Guru and Krishna, then he can understand. And if he still one argues, then he is again misfortune. Therefore Krishna demands, you rascal, don't argue. Surrender. Sarvadharma on Parityajima. That is the way. Commands. You were asking if there were any um, examples of explosions happening without material cause. And I was just wondering if you could explain how volcanoes explode. Hmm? That is God's desire, nature's way. Nature is behind this. And through behind the demigods? Nature, huh? Through the demigods? No, nature, the material nature, huh? just like uh, sometimes <coughs> at night you have got, um, what is called, uh, pollution, night pollution. Yes. Huh? So why it is happening? Why it is happening? Why this eruption comes? Can you explain? Huh? I don't know what night pollution is. Huh? Passing seven and Oh. Why it does happen? What is your explanation? Nobody can explain? Desire. Nature. Desire in the heart. See yeah. the desire? This is nature. Huh? No, no. Nature, the body is made of material nature. And the uh, eruption is coming. Why it is coming? Does it come in the dead body? No. Then what is the cause? It's a living entity. Because the soul is there. <clears throat> Similarly, the super soul is there and he is that engine, everything. The Balkan eruption does not check automatically. When it is desired by Krishna, then it takes place. Maya Dhaksena. I didn't see it Bhagavad Under my superintendent. When he knows that now this eruption is required, immediately there is Prasya Shakti Vividhai Vishya. He has got so many potencies. One potency works. Because the living soul is there, therefore the seminal discharge takes place. Similarly, because the Supreme Living is there, there are all these things around me. What is the difficulty to understand? Krishna says, Vishtabhya aham idam krishnam ekaṁsi no situja. The whole worldly affair is going on because I am there. Vishtabhya, I have entered into it. Don't you read in the Bhagavad Gita? And we are reading that portion, how Karnam Namsai Vishnu or uh, enters in the uh, each universe, he, then he expands himself at Kirodaksai Vishnu. We are explaining that. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Vishtabhya means entering. You've written that Mahavishnu has some attraction to the material world? No. He has no attraction. He has got it. That's what he creates. Mahavishnu knows, and Krishna knows that these rascals will have attraction for this material. All right, let me arrange. He has no attraction. Why he will have attraction? So one of the devotees said they read that in one of the books. Huh? There is one purport that says that Krishna is different than Vishnu because he's not. He has nothing to do with the material world. Yeah. But Mahavishnu, he has some attraction. Where no attraction. He is duty bound, assigned by Krishna, or he is not honored. Krishna expands on Mahavishnu and takes charge of this. Before I was asking about the uh, scientific theory that the atoms are always moving, and you said that the uh, Earth is not moving now. Hmm? You said that the, you pointed to a chunk and said that it is not moving. Hmm. But there... But if you think that you are also moving, everything is moving, because you are on the earth. <coughs> when the train moves, everything moves. But how it moves? Train. That has, you have to search out. Hmm. Train is not automatically moving. That Some is... power engine hmm. is moving. That is blind, he said. 
the train is moving. Now the train is moving. You have to see, that is childish. Train is not moving, the engine is moving, the train. And how the engine is moving, the coal, fire is moving. Then how where from the coal come? In this we have to search out. We'll find ultimately the supreme cause is Krishna. Nothing is moving without Krishna's indication. That is the explanation. Maya Dhaksi, no. Under my superintendence, Krishna desire this big, big chunk. We moved there eh? recently. Madhubhisa Maharaj said the buses were flying in the sky. Buses? Yes. <laughs> in Darwin? Oh, no. Cyclone. Yes. And the whole city is massed. They don't know how to search beyond the uh, the microscope level. Microscope level. They think that the atoms have their own energy. They don't know the process of searching. The energy is Krishna is there. Nantara sang paramanu cha. Osura's business is to avoid Krishna. That is there. And our business is to establish everywhere Krishna. That is the difference between them and us. There's one theory that even the atoms have intelligence because the way they combine together to yes. form larger molecules. That means that, that is Krishna's intelligence. They do not see Krishna. You have to understand the whole philosophy because you have to preach and you have to confront so many atheists, rascals. The scientists need guru. <coughs> The scientists need guru. Yes. They never even think of these things. When they're captured and cornered, they say, yes, we are trying in future, he said, good. Post-dated check. You take this check, in future it will be paid. We'll accept this check. To that they always say that in the past, Man laughed at some scientific theories and later they would it prove it. It is not scientific, it is not rascal. What you are giving, that is not science, that is rascal. Why shall I accept it is scientific? Because we have no full knowledge. What you are giving, it is simply rascal. So we say that one should live very simply, produce his own food yes. and chant. And then about all problems. So if we are given charge of the society, we should dismantle all this industry, all these cities? Hmm? No, we're not going to, but we can manage how to do it. At all, give me, I will say how to manage. <laughs> <laughs> we'll not create any problem. We do not wish to destroy anything. Just like we have big printing press and f incense factory, but yes. it is all managed nicely. Yes. Stop all these workers, illicit sex, intoxication, and chant Hare Krishna. The whole atmosphere is. The production will be increased. There will be no dissatisfaction among the worker and the capitalist. Immediately everything will be solved. Even now the competition is going on that the capitalist is exacting as much money from the labor and he is spending it for wine and women. And the worker is saying that our money he is spending, why not ourselves? So let us form a communist party. It is fine. This is it. If they do not know how to spend money, shudras, eh? when a shudra gets money, he will spend for wine and women. That's all. He does not know that it should be spent for Krishna consciousness. <coughs> So intoxication, illicit sex, we will make that illegal. Yes, it is illegal. But because they are rogues and rascals, they are doing all these illegal things. And because it is democracy, when the majority are acting illegally, it becomes legal. This is democracy.
We cannot avoid it. We want to do the same thing by voting. There is no God. So there is no God. Finish.